Comlands. Long ago, the High Summoners fought Sin here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. I've always known where to go. I... I won't let you die. I'll find a way somehow. to believe that words could make it come true. I think Riku is a little jealous of Uni, unfortunately. Uh, it's a shame. I really wanted Riku instead of Yuna. Anyway, guys, the calm lands. I'm gonna be here for a minute because I want to catch every fiend on this level. Die! Five gem. I'm gonna need quite a lot of these. Not really, but it'll help. Okie dokie. I need to bring in Lulu for this. Icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. It's really too bad that they only say things like that one time, like the first time that they use their, their special abilities. There are some exceptions like limit break and when Titus uses provoke and when Titus flees he always says something at certain points of the game in a way not in sp spots like this five gem on get that thing out of here that's actually walker's target right there but Thanks to the high bridge, I'm more than powerful enough to kill that thing. <laughs> Why am I attacking this thing? I mean, seriously, what what am I doing? <laughs> In a way, uh, Yuna can dispatch this thing too with a nice Blizzard God spell. Remember that if your characters can't kill their targets in one shot, it means they are completely underleveled. But at this point, I am severely overleveled. Now, before I continue, there's something uh, I, I need to note. There's a very unique piece of armor over here for Titus. And this is the only way to get it, and don't. Damn! Uh, no, but it's not yours. It's Riku's. I'm gonna let her handle this. First, I'm gonna steal these dream powders. Gonna have Walker put in haste if he can. And he can't. He doesn't have haste, unfortunately. Sleep and silence. Very, very nice. Poison. Even nicer. Now, she's poison. Oh, boy. That was just sexy. Dream powder. Thank you. Looks like that's not enough to kill the machine or the wolf. I want to fear Riga's overdrive. In case you're wondering why I'm doing this. Because I'm going to let... That thing ain't dead yet, really? I forgot. She can actually attack now. I should have did that before.
I want Rika to have some fun with her overdrives. Smoke bombs. And the yeah, these maps I bought. Anyway, let's continue. As I was saying, uh, there's a really odd piece of armor here for Titus, and this is the only way that you can get it, and the only time in the entire game they can get it. Uh, this right here. This thing comes with magic counter on his armor, which is kind of odd. But somewhat helpful at this point in the game. A shape shifter for Kamari, something for Uni, not that I need that. Let's see. Stone proof for Lulu. Not bad at all. It only costs 6,000 gil. Not bad. But first, I want to change my chocobo so I can ride the damn thing to make this less tedious. Die! That's why I got him on Walker's Grid. I build a potion. Good for mixing later on. Get that thing out of here. Yoink. Steal. Let me just hit it a few times. Fire guy. Magic counter. Yeah. <laughs> In the way before I go in there let me talk to that anyway as I was saying first let me go over here and talk to the lovely Belgamini oh you again you're quite the notorious traitor these days what's it to you <laughs> oh you shouldn't take what the maester say too seriously for summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? Yes. So, are you up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Right there. Excellent. But before we begin... I've just healed your Aeons for you. Let us begin. I said this before, I find it kind of funny how they show Orin staring at Belgamini right here, doing that cutscene. It's almost as if Orin knows that, you know, what's going on with her. No point in not spoiling it. This game is what? 13 years old? Belgamini's dead. She's unsent. Choose your Aeon well, Summoner. And I think Orin can sense that. Well, she picked Shiva, so uh You know what? I I I, I don't have time for this. So yeah, I'm 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 already behind on my LPs. I don't have time to be to, 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 to be screwing around. So let me just go ahead and end this right now. Actually, I should have saved that for um for later on for a little boss fight, but you guys know how I do things. In most cases, Riku will be the one doing the fish and blow. The only exception is um, Unaleska because it takes it takes more than nine thousand to overkill the bitch. But actually, even then, I, it's still possible. I don't think this Shiva is weak to fire for some reason. No, she's not. Can I go ahead and kill it with the Mega Flare? Go ahead and get this long animation out of the way. Actually, it's kind of odd that Bahamut's Mega Flare animation is, is a lot shorter than if it's Hellfire, because that damn Hellfire animation is just ridiculously long. Now, there's something odd and unique about Shiva. Stop. That is enough. When the AI uses it anyway. Unlike, unlike the other Aeons, she doesn't show signs of injury. 
Impressive, remarkable talent. Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Zin. Take this. You have earned it. 30 power spheres and the Aeon Soul. Trust me, unless you're doing a no spear gear, you're not going to use that. It's just a total waste of time. Thank you. I think you will do just fine. But if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remium. I will be waiting there. Farewell. Blah, 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 blah. You use items to, to mainly increase their stats. And that sounds like a good thing, except for the fact that it takes a very, and I mean a very, very, very long time because, I mean, well, maybe it won't be too bad in the main game, but you don't need it in the main game. The only time you need to do it is in no speed grid. And unfortunately, in no speed grid, it takes ridiculously long. More targets for Riku. I love it. I'm going to have to put my dream powers in front. Well, I just used my last one. Now, now she got a full low drive. Die. Since I'm going to be using Riku's uh, overdrive, a lot. It's time I put some of this stuff up top. The things I'm going to be using more often. Uh, Arctic Wind. That makes a nice little move there. When I combine it with stuff like this. Uh, I need my maps. need my smoke bombs. I'm going to steal a dream powder and put it up front. I'm going to steal a dream powder and put it right there. So she can use it. But first, let's take a break. Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yuna? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Maester Kinok's murderer. What you say? <clears throat> Please, tell us what has happened. Maester Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kenok and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Pavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kenok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see... this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. I am so sick of seeing that damn prayer. And why are they calling him Father? Why is it Father Zook? So you're telling me that somehow either Micah doesn't know that Seymour is the one who killed uh, Kenok, or Micah knows that Seymour did? She's not stopping, is she? Yuna, she's made her decision. I can't just let her go. We won't have to. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? <sighs> I'm tired of talking to you. It's always but this, but that. But... Let's think together. Okay. And... If we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. S 
So, we are officially traitors, then. Hey, let them say what they want. It's it's okay. I'm not worried. Well... Maybe just a little. It's so hard not to be. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yell. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bavel Temple. This is my third pilgrimage as a guardian. Father Zook was my second, and my first, well, it ended here too. I've never been to the lands beyond. When I was guarding Zook, I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Gagazet is Ronso land, Kimari home. Hmm, uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kimari has no family. Oh, uh, sorry. But Kimari not alone. Messy. What is? Yevon, Micah and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. No, I don't think so either. Okay, there's a clerk back here, but this is no ordinary clerk. This chick happens to be... Nadia, a pretty badass blister. In fact, this is the final member of my team. Bada, you fired. And that, my friends, is my Blissball team. Let me just show it to you right now. I'm not going to play Blissball yet. I'm just going to show you my team. My team will be as follows. Shami, Valucha, Lena, Nadia, Shu, and Minyu. That's my team. All chicks. And they kick ass. It's impossible to lose. Well, not quite. I still got to beat those damn um, bad sites first until, until I get high levels. I don't think she has anything I want to buy, so let's get a move on. And I can always come back here later in case I forget something. Now then. Uh, oh, I forgot that I said I was going up. I said I was going to train the Chocobo first before I came up here. But at this point in the game, this is where the trainer is. The trainer's up on the top left. I forgot about that. I told you, this is a long time since I played this game. I just... You still get that thing, man, really? All right, here's the new enemy. In fact, give me this. Thank you, Man of Spain. Very, very helpful. Die or terminate your machine. Not quite enough kick, huh? I guess your magic defense must be pretty damn high because they did 8,000 at the plan. Immune! Sorry, pal. Die! Yes, 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 yes. Alright, there's the Carmelo Overdrive mode. Very, very nice. I'm glad I got that out of the way for Tidus already. That'll definitely come in handy later on in the episode. Okay, you, you, you see that chocobo up there? That's where I'm headed. I'll meet you there because I'm probably going to get back three more battles before I get to it. Whoa, look at this. Chimera is awesome. Let me just steal this ice gem. Or lightning gem. Alright, let me speed this up a little bit. Okay, then. Got those insects out of the way. Okay. 
Can I make it to the chocobo without fighting? Yes, I can. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hope you're not playing on across the place on foot. I want to ride chocobo. Well, these players are home to lots of wild chocobos. First, must train them. Blah 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 blah. Probably one of the most aggravating side quests in the entire game. The chocobo training. The first part is somewhat easy, but then it gets very, very tedious. It's simple, blah, 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 blah. The chocobo will start going left and right. It's out of control. You have to make it to the goal within the time limit. Let's go. I warn you guys, unless you're really, really good, if this is your first time playing this game, this side quest is going to annoy the fuck out of you. Not yet. But when you get to the... Barely made it. When you get to the uh, catch a chocobo, you might end up breaking your controller. Trust me. It's, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's that difficult. It's, it's a real pain in the ass. Alexa, not bad. I quit. I just wanted to get that out of the way so I can go ahead and ride my chocobo. Let me ride one, baby. Anyways, I was saying, there's something around here I want to pick up. Right over here. Uh, come on. Uh, do I have to get off? Okay, apparently I got to get off the chocobo first. Now, there it is. Uh, ah! Come on! Give me a break! These guys here. Naturally, these guys can petrify you, so watch out for that. Speaking of petrify, petrify grenade, very, very nice. Still one from you. Die. Good still. Overkill. In all honesty, there's really no point in me showing it, showing any of these random battles because I'm just I'm just over level. Anyway, give me that. I'll be at primary number twenty-three. F Eagles W. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, back on the chocobo. Now that I have my chocobo, there's actually another Albert Primary that I can get. Let me go ahead and get it right now while it's on my mind. The sooner I mess the Albert, the better. There's Mason again. Screw that, I ain't talking to him. Press circle at this, um, well, X. I forgot, I'm not playing Japanese version. Press X on that little yellow feather. There's some chest chests down there, we'll get those later. Let me just go over here first. Unfortunately, we have to hop off our chocobo. I can't remember if it'll be out here uh, waiting on me or not. This is the random temple. I'll be back here much later on in the game to get Yuna's um Celestial Weapon stuff and also and also uh to get the Clyde and also to get the Clyde of Mirror. I might do that pendulum thing here. Not now, but later on. I don't necessarily need it right now. The only reason why I came here at this point in the game is to come over here and get this. I bet primary number 24. Q equals X. We're almost done with the I bet language. All right, I'll meet you back at the calm lens. Anyways, I was saying, uh, I think I'm supposed to jump right here. As I was saying, there's a there's some chest around here somewhere with some money in it. Something like that. Yeah, right here. Ten thousand gear, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's take a little trip to the monster arena. And 
And this is another sound check that wasn't changed from the original version. And this is indeed a song that you don't forget, trust me. You're gonna hear this thing a lot. Blah, 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 blah. This is the mustard training place, stuff like that. You can fight fiends here as many times as you want to for a little fee. But all the fiends got away. That's where you come in, Sonny. Go catch fiends for me and all the shenanigans. You can hone your skills. Blase, blase, blase. How about not a bad deal, huh? You want me to get it? All right, I'll do it. Yep, this is probably where you're going to spend most of your time in the monster arena, unfortunately. Keep in mind that before he actually opens the, the monster arena, he wants you to catch everything in the calm lands first. First you gotta catch everything in the calm lands, then you go catching the other stuff. All right, one for Titus, one for Waka, one for Orin, and one for Riku. You and Lulu don't need one. All right, let's go hunting. And this is the main reason why I wanted to train the chocobo now. So I can go ahead and get the tough fiends out of the way first. Actually, I think I better put this on. At least until I, at least, uh, yeah. I'll let Owen and Riku do the catching. There's a reason why I want, I want this first strike on, just in case I run into uh, um, my barrel and I get ambushed. He might do bad breath if that happens, and I don't want any game overs right now. I haven't had one yet for this LP. Unless I'm doing the... Actually, I never actually died in this game unless I'm doing no speed grid. Ah, damn, I hate this little spot, man. Alright, let me just get up here. And I'm gonna park the chocobo right here. And I'm gonna run around this circle until I start catching all the tough things. I wanna get them out of the way first. The toughest things are in the north e in the northwest, I believe. You fight these guys too. But you, but you have a higher chance of encountering the tougher fiends um, up here in the north. There we go. These guys again. Turn him back now, yeah? Haste up. Takes care of you. All right, still ice gem, nice. Still again, good still. Gotcha. All right, that, that takes care of the chimeras. This asshole, my barrel. All right, uh, this guy only has 27,000 HP, and he is weak to fire. Just thought I'd note that. Let me just go and haste up. I'll catch him long before he gets the turn. I'm not sure exactly how the normal ones work. I think they have a high chance of doing bad breath when they're um, when the hit points are low. Let me just do a 9,000 hit right now. Let's see here. Uh, what's my catching weapon? Oh, way down here, really? Uh, hmm. Shadow gem. I missed two shadow gems. Just to make sure I catch him. Gotcha, bitch. 
I told you, Riku has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. And that takes care of the my barrel. There's a few more things I gotta catch. And here's one of them right here, these big ogre things here, whatever the fuck they are, I don't know. Here's a good supply of dream powders. Go ahead and get this guy out of here right now. Damn, how much HP you got? Oh, I hate being put to sleep. That again, really? Go away. Thank you. That takes care of the ogre. More dream powders. Thank you. Hit. Hit. Go ahead and catch these wolves, because I need, I need to catch them later on for agility. Go ahead and get them out of the way. Yoink. You miss, because you suck. Die. All right. That takes care of the ogre. I believe there are two more fiends left. The, um, the Koro and the, um, those stone things. And that would be everything in the Comlands. I don't think I missed anything besides those two. I don't know why, but for some reason it took me about an hour to bring these bastards out here. It took me a long time to get them to come out here. But it's definitely worth the wait. It doesn't usually take me this long though, unfortunately. Stony Gaze, of course. Sonic Tail! You don't see that every day. Nothing that I bet Poster can't fix. Thank you, Riku Baby. Overkill. And the condor captured. And now your turn. Gotcha, bitch. And I do believe that is every monster in the Comlands. Once you do this, the monster arena is reopened. So I'll meet you there. All right, uh, old drive for Tears. Uh, you too would be comrade. And let me see if I can do this. Ah, you call the fiends. Here's a reward. But I don't think you can open it yet. Of course not. This chest happens to be the Nirvana, which is Yuna's ultimate weapon. We can't open that thing until we get the Celestial. Until we get the. Uh, we can't open this thing until we get the Celestial Mirror. All right, after you catch every fiend in a certain area, he gives you like a reward, and now you can fight a souped up version of a monster from that area, and so on and so forth. Bring it on. The first boss is this Chimera, Chimera Gimmish, though, whatever. I don't know. All right, we good, baby. Let's see here. He's immune to that, isn't he? Yeah, of course. On just ah oh, damn! I should not have done that. I should not have done that. If he does aqua breath, I'm done. Actually, no. Just in case he does aqua breath. Of course, he hit Yuna. Pick her up. Put her in haste just so I can switch her out. Get Orin back in here. Alright. And why am I not using T's overdrive? Why? I'm just, uh. I'm just doing this to show you that it is indeed possible to beat this guy now. And it's really not that difficult. Especially when you got Rika in the party. I told you, she has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. A lot of tricks. 
like happened off, for example. Aqua Breath. Let me just get Unit right back in here. Yeah, pretty much the only way this guy is gonna kill me, pretty much the only way this guy is gonna damage me is by doing physical attacks. Oh, 9,000, nice. 9,000 again. Cool. Magito Flame! Immune, bitches. Nothing hard about this guy at all. Another 9,000 hit. Visit Ra. Uh, nobody. Sorry. Gotcha, bitch. Easy as pie. Of course, I would get a Dark Matter. That's not what I wanted, but I guess I'll take it so I can save that for Unaleska. Now I can finish him off with Riku and still get the overkill. You beat him. Nice job, Sonny, but don't let it go to your head. I'll make sure he's always ready. Try to beat him quicker next time. Yeah. Pretty soon I'll be able to kill him in two attacks. That Dark Matter is not what I wanted, so let me stay here until I get the item I want. Uh, Riku, we're gonna use the Water Eater for now. That'll protect it from that damn Aqua Breath. Like I said, that's not the item I want to get, so let me keep fighting him until I get the one I want to get. First things first, haste up. Okay, get Uni in here. Get No Tide up first. Yeah, if you're fighting this guy early, use No Tide first. That's the only attack it has that that's hits the whole group. Vegeta Flame, that's gonna kill somebody. You know, I almost took it, but not quite. All right, let me get my finish thing on now. On your feet, baby. All righty. Get no tire back up on Uni. Yeah, once Riku, once Riku gets a full old job, it's, it's, it's a done deal after that. There's a rye. Not quite. Auto Phoenix. So it doesn't slow me down too much. The unit back in haste. Hit. Uh, on. You won't get another turn. Keep unit in here. I should screw that. I've got two no tides on, I'll be fine. And Riku has and Riku has auto phoenix. So I'll be alright. And there's Riku's overdrive. And once she gets a full low job, it's a done deal. Yeah, he's pretty much screwed at this point. He can still knock you out with, with a physical attack, but he's got like what, a 1 out of 5 chance of doing it. Aqua Breath. Let's see here. I forgot, what exactly is this guy still out of him anyway? Give me that. Yoink, Mass Spring, not bad. I think I can make a uh, Hyper no Oz with that. Vegeta Flame. Not gonna work, pal. 
Yeah, yeah. Like I said, once once Riku does that, he's just pretty much screwed. Good one, baby. All right. I told you she's more than a 15 year old sex symbol. Learn how to use this chick. And that's the item I wanted. Return sphere. This thing does two things. For starters, return sphere makes first strike on your weapons. The second thing it does is it returns your allies to a previous uh, node that only they activated. Which is very, very helpful. Now that I'm satisfied with Rika's attack, I'm going to teleport her back to her, her original grid. And now I'm finally going to put Rika back on her own grid so she can learn Mug and um, Play for Guild and stuff like that and get some more speed and so on and so forth. Anyway, guys, you get the picture by now. I'm going to stay here and fight that guy until I can get some a good amount of return spheres. And then we'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy.